Oh, good morning. My name is Jacqueline Diet, and I'm the head of school for accounting and business and travel and tourism here at the College of Haringey. And I'm going to talk to you about the AAT courses that we have offering at the college, as well as the apprenticeships. Um, we have starting at um, level one, the accounting software um, program, as well as the level one in bookkeeping program. Um, the entry requirements, as you can see, are um, functional skills minimum um, for both maths and English at an entry level three. Um, the course runs um, three hours per week um, on various days, for example, on Monday um, and during the evenings, Tuesdays and Thursday evenings from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, and it runs various times during the term, so it's it can easily fit into everyone's um, lifestyles and probably, you know, if you're working. Um, so, for example, we do have the courses running at various times in the year. In September, we have two um, um, courses that run during that term and in January we have another start and in April we have uh, another course that runs. So if you are able to then fit the course um, into your um, work life during the various times of the year, we, we are catering for students with, with those programs. Um, the progression routes from that course, um, you are then able to progress to the level two foundation certificate in bookkeeping, which we are going to run for the first time in September and then progress on to the certificate. Um, so you can then be able to, depending on what you want for yourself as, as, as a progression route, you can then move into the certificate um, form of the program. So it's an accessible course. It is available to, to everyone. It's a free program and it's a course that gives you a, a, an easy entry onto the accounting profession, gives you an, a, a, a taster to some effect of what you will have to learn, what you are able to then progress onto in terms of an accounting career. And it will then um, enable you to decide um, if this really is the career path you would like to take. At the moment, we do have a course that just started and we had quite a few entrants and that course will likely finish before the September intake. Jackie, just before we move on, got our first question in already um, and it's as well as progression routes onto any courses, can these lead to jobs? Yes, they can. Um, for example, the AAT level one course, obviously you're learning the first um, elements of bookkeeping. Um, so it would be entry level positions for anyone who wants to take uh, a, a, a role in accounting at that level. Um, obviously you will still need to have further training, but it does give you an insight and it does give you some basic skills into the accounting profession. So you'll be able to assess if you're doing any bookkeeping work or if you're, if you're a sole trader, it will enable you to help on you know to start to learn to how to do your accounting um, but it would certainly require a little bit more um, further development and, and the, the level two foundation certificate would be a better route for you to then start to go into further employment with that but certainly it would allow you to to get an entry level position into accounting and finance roles. Thanks Jackie. Um, yeah. Do you want me to move on to the level two? Yes. The AAT Level 2 courses that we offer, we offer quite a few um, and we do offer the AAT Level 2 programme at various times of the week. So again, allowing for flexibility for learners. Um, so we have part time day courses. So, for example, we have AAT Level 2 on a Monday. We have AAT Level 2 on a Thursday, but this is all day nine to five. And we also have AAT Level 2 courses that runs in the evening, um, Tuesdays and Thursday evenings um, between 6 to 9 p.m. We do have a course that runs on a Wednesday. That course just started, that runs for a year, but we do have opportunities for students to um, fit these courses in with their um, daily lifestyles. Um, the requirements for that, obviously, if you've done the level one, that would be a good benchmark to start. If you're coming in and you already have qualifications, for example, if you have GCSEs and you are 16 to 18, we have a full time version of the qualification that's running over two days a week. At the moment, we currently run that course on a Monday and a Friday. We also have um, we also look at your um, prior qualifications if you're currently working in an accounting role. Um, so we look at different entry levels. We have another version of the qualification that runs in January. It's a fast track course and it runs from January to July. So again, another opportunity for any learner 
to come in, join the program again at a different point in the year and again able to complete the same type of qualification um, within the academic year. Um, the structure of the course, it runs six hours per week. So you are, if you're doing part time day it would be nine to five, so it would be six hours per week. If you're doing it in the evening, it would be three hours on a Tuesday and three hours on a Thursday evening. Um, progression routes, you'll be able to then progress to um, the level three ad advanced diploma in accounting. If you have done the level one and you've gone on to the level two in bookkeeping, it will then allow you to then complete the AAT level two foundation certificate in accounting. So the difference between the bookkeeping and the accounting, the bookkeeping route, you do two calls. So you do the um, AAT level um, two, you do the foundation bookkeeping, and you will also be able to do the bookkeeping controls unit. So for the foundation bookkeeping course, you do two topics in the foundation certificate, you do five topics. Now each course you have exams, so they're all exam based, they're all computerized exams and for which you have to pass them all to gain your qualification. Um, in the foundation certificate, you are able to use and you're taught how to use an accounting software package. At the moment, we're using Sage. So um, a lot of students um, need this if they're having a small business and they want to be able to do their own bookkeeping and to be able to put them into onto a computer system rather than doing them by hand. So it is very useful, very useful qualification to have, very widely recognized. And we have a lot of accounting students at present and we would love to encourage you to join the program. Um, so again, we do have a lot of accounting um, level two courses that are being offered at various points of the academic year. We also do offer level two um, apprenticeships and we do have an accounting academy where we have um, what we call pre-apps. So they join the program at level two, they're trained for level two qual in, in quite a short space of time in 14 weeks. They then progress on to the level three as an apprentice, um, which will last them 18 months. Um, so again, it, if you are 16 to um, under 16 to 21 and you have GCSEs, five GCSEs um, and you want to become an apprentice and you want to join the apprenticeship program, um, the level two would be a good place to start. We train you at a fast pace and then we at, during that time um, you are then trained. You are we are developing your CV. We are uh, um, giving you employability skills. Um, we are looking at your interview techniques. We have staff that work with you getting ready for the actual interview. Um, and so during the time you are being trained with the level two, you are being prepared for the world of work and after which you are then um, we secure placements for you and then you can join the apprenticeship at level three where you are then working coming to college um, one day a week so you'd work with the employer for four days come to college one day a week and you continue your training until the end of the program which then which will then last 18 months so again various opportunities for students to join the programs various routes for students um, after which they can then progress so again a useful career a career that is um, always in demand and um, we do offer a lot of those programs and we do encourage you to apply um, for these courses in september that's really good jackie we've we've just had a question actually around apprenticeship so it's good that you touched on that there's apprenticeships available and mm -hmm. can you just clarify um what levels the apprenticeships are available at that we offer so we do have accounting apprenticeships at level two um we have um, learners who come to us already employed that we take on as an apprentice we do have the pre-apprenticeship program where we train you at level two um to develop those basic skills and then you generally move on to the, the accounting apprenticeship at level three. Um, level three is the core apprenticeship level where you are then working. You have developed sufficient accounting knowledge and skills to then be added value to the employer. And that's the stage where you are then going out to work four days and you're coming to see us at one day um, during the week. Brilliant, thanks Jackie. Do you want me mm -hmm. to move on to level threes and fours? That's fine, thank you. So we do have the um, full breadth of the accounting AT um, 
qualifications. So we do have, like I've said, level one, level two. Now we do have level three and level four. So we do have the level three as an apprenticeship. We also do provide the level three just as a, the level three advanced diploma qualification. So for anyone who is advancing from the level two qualification, so you've done the AT level two certificate and you've then progressed to the level three advanced diploma. Um, the challenge is great, obviously, with the accounting qualification, but here we we provide a part time day um, course for students who are just who don't want to be an apprentice, but do still want to gain the accounting qualification. Um, so we do have a part time day course. So the level three, we have you, for example, on site on a Tuesday all day or Thursday all day. So it depends on that type of provision. Um, and then we also have a full time provision for those level two full timers, the 16 to 18 who are then progressing to level three and they are normally here um, uh, two days a week. Um, so that's the normal route for anyone progressing from AAT level two qualification. Now we also have, um, like I said, from the level two pre-apps or those who are coming to us who are already employed and they have agreed with the employers that they are going to be an apprentice. You must have the basic qualifications. You must have at least five GCSEs or the equivalent functional skills. Um, and so then you're able to progress as an apprentice. You come to us for one day a week to continue um, developing your knowledge and skills. And then you work with the employer um, to gain the uh, additional um, skills that you will and the skill sets that you need for work. Um, so you are going to learn quite a lot in accounting uh, at level three. You are going to be learning how to um, produce tax returns. You are learning how to produce financial statements at that level. You are developing a lot of costing techniques. You are developing your accounting skills and to be able to prepare, um, like I said, financial statements and look at how these are then um, when we look at final accounts. So there's a lot of skills you're gaining when you are at level three in terms of a qualification. And with the, with the apprenticeships, you are um, you're having the challenge of working and coming to college. So you're having to learn how to balance your life and to be able to to do that successfully with the demand of a level three qualification at that stage. But again, it's that middle ground where you have to then really decide whether this is the type of profession you want to be making as your career path. But it is very rewarding and we have had a lot of success stories from our accounting academy and our students um, who have done quite well and some of whom have started with us as a, as a pre-app so they've come from level two and they're now fully um, qualified accounting um, um, co co uh, as a career they're now charted and so they have seen and have experienced the full realm and breadth of the qualification and are now um, successfully um, enjoying a, a lifestyle um, to which anyone who takes this path can can then achieve for themselves so it's a very good route you can then choose if you want to to progress to university um, if you want to go directly into workplace, you then have additional skills. You, be, you can become an assistant accountant in, in, in these roles. Um, you can develop more skills uh, or you can then choose to do the full breadth of the qualification and go on to progress to AT level four um, and, and do the professional diploma as an apprentice as well or just normally and then choose to um, if you want to go to university or to progress further and into your chartered career. Um, so again, very useful qualification, very useful level, um, which opens a lot of doors and opportunities for students that we've seen uh, over the years. And level four, again, of obviously this is the final um, breadth of the qualification for AAT, but again here, um, a choice that students make um, then rather than going to university, so then um, complete the qualification. Um, so again, you must be successful um, at level three to then enter into level four. Again, you need the qualifications, you need those core maths and English skills. I uh, can't stress that enough because it allows you to appreciate the, the, the skills that you're gaining with the qualification to be able to understand, analyze, interpret, um, and then put all of that together into one qualification 
um, which allows you to understand the difficulty that you are going to 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 have with these types of qualifications and professional routes and um, to enable you to understand and appreciate the knowledge you're going and experience you're going to get along the way. Um, for any student, again, you can still choose if you wish to progress onto university. Um, it again opens up great opportunities in terms of job roles. Um, you at that level can then achieve, um, go on to apply for your full uh, membership status with the AAT, so you become a member of the association, and or you can then progress on to your chartered um, professional routes and um, become a chartered accountant. There will be lots of exams. Um, the accounting qualification, um, every unit that you take, you are assessed by um, online exams for which you will have to pass. Um, in terms of placements um, for the apprenticeships, we do have designated team that looks for placements for the apprentices. Um, so therefore, you, we, we tend to try to work with you to match you to the best employer um, in terms of your apprenticeship so that you have the best fit and then we can then try and encourage you and develop you to complete the qualification. So yes, we do have a team that helps to develop you, develop your CV, develop your, your presentation skills, your, your, your networking skills, your ability to, to be able to handle and manage your time wisely. Um, your, 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 um, so we look at some, we have a team that in terms of developing you as an apprentice, uh, as a student, um, so we do have lots of activities as well. We have lots of networking opportunities where we have guest speakers that come into the college um, to give you additional advice, support. We have careers advisors, so we do have teams within the college and we do have access to um, to networking opportunities outside the college that will enable enable you to have that wide um, widened participation and ability to to develop your skills holistically um, with us. So Jackie, we've got a question actually, um, a yes. question about how do I apply? Um, we've got questions coming in through the Facebook Live, but we've also got questions coming through our course info at cornell.ac.uk and our live chat on uh, our website. So the question is, um, how do we how do we apply? Um, simply go to cornell.ac.uk and choose the course you want to apply for and complete the online form. Um, and again, we have levels one, two, three and four for AAT. Um, so make the decision and the choice which is good for you. Uh, and if you do have any further questions or do call or email us and, and, and we'll get back to you.